So if you had 100 milligrams of glucose per deciliter of blood and you had about 60 deciliters of blood because you have six liters of blood, then that's only six grams of total glucose in your bloodstream. And so obviously that's, well, six grams of glucose is 24 calories. And we burn 24 calories pretty quick during exercise. So I guess it makes me think of uh, the hormone glucagon, which is the opposite of insulin. Whereas insulin is to deliver sugar in the blood to the cells of the body, glucagon lets the, the cells of the body break down glucose and release it into the bloodstream. Do athletes with type 1 diabetes have the ability to produce glucagon to control that if their blood sugar goes down pretty quick? A few different concepts that you've uh, covered there, which are really good. You're right. The amount of sugar or glucose in the bloodstream at any time is is incredibly low and this sort of teaspoon worth of sugar this sort of five or six grams uh, in the circulation and it is a very little amount in terms of whether someone with type 1 diabetes uh, produces glucagon there is some evidence that this can be slightly impaired but it does seem as though people with type 1 diabetes do do still produce this hormone 